Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our legs. So to start off with, I'm going to do my dynamic stretches first, starting with the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side as usual every day consistently. And for my second stretch, I'm going to do the hip opener using a little bit of weight. That is, I'm holding a kettlebell here 16 kilos you can use a dumbbell a weight plate and if you don't want or if you feel it's a bit of difficulty in doing this particular stretch with weight you can do it without the weight i've done that in my previous videos also the reason why we do this is to make sure our hips open up our inner thighs our thighs and our outer thigh is completely mobile and ready for our exercises it also ensures any kind of uh, tightness to be released pre-workout so that when we are working out the tightness doesn't compromise our form anyway so quite vital to dedicate this five minute drill every day before starting the leg workouts one thing to keep in mind is that i have been doing this three there are various other uh, dynamic stretches which you can use as a pre-workout drill for your leg workout so it's I mean there are multiple ones you can find online but I use this because I find them effective these are good for me so I use this but you are free to use other kind of dynamic stretches also before starting your leg workout so when I was done with the two I did five repetitions on each side so to finish off with I went into a deep squat with a bit of weight shifting onto my each leg so that my ankle mobility is unlocked or it's like a check before we start off with our workouts to make sure our ankles are mobile uh, there's no tightness in our calves and just in case if we do any deep squats any kind of uh, lunge, uh, lunging movements this would be quite important to unlock our ankle mobility Using a weight helps us also balance ourselves in a deep squat. And that's it for our dynamic stretches. So now let's move on to our warm-up exercises. So for my warm-up exercise, I am going to do two sets of RDLs. Now this would also be my first working exercise. So we'll directly jump into the working set. To start off with, remember the cue you lean forward by pushing your glutes behind as if you're trying to touch a wall or close a door with your glutes with your butt cheeks so as you try to push your glutes behind you lean forward while maintaining the bar in contact with your legs and one more way to remember is that try to push your arms behind your body like when you try to push your arms behind your body the bar stops you from doing that and you constantly keep the bar in contact with your body so that's another way to remember it driving your arms behind locking up your back making sure there is no energy leaks in your lower back or your upper back and all the tension is locked up at your glutes and in your hamstrings you might also feel a little bit of stretch in your calf muscles that's absolutely fine this particular exercise creates a great amount of stretch in your entire uh, lower posterior chain so that's that's expected but try to uh, focus on your hamstrings as much as possible so done with our warm-up and now we can jump on with weights again with weights i have done three working sets 10 to 12 repetitions now when it comes to weight make sure you choose a challenging weight uh, don't go extremely low don't go extremely high going extremely high would compromise your form you would start uh, shifting the weight onto your lower back going extremely less weight like i did as an with an empty barbell in my warm-up exercise that's fine for a warm-up but for a working set that would not put much demand we want our glutes also to get involved so there needs to be a substantial weight a challenging weight for that 10 to 12 repetition mark i have chosen to load my bar with 25 kilo plates so i was doing around 50 kilos in plates alone and that was good 
amount of stretch for me. For the first two sets, I kept the speed a bit in control. For the third set, I tried to be a little bit explosive to get of more hip thrust uh, involved in the movement too. And that's it for our first leg exercise. For my second leg exercise, I'm choosing the leg press machine uh, because by now my legs were a bit tired so I did not want to do any kind of uh, compound movement wherein I am not supported so I am using an equip uh, equipment or the machine if you have this particular equipment setup awesome if you don't if you have a 45 degree uh, leg press you can use that too to do this exercise here we are going to do three sets again 10 to 12 repetitions we will be loading a little bit heavy now when we load heavy i don't want you to just load any am amount of weight so i want you to focus on the starting angle where i'm starting at a 90 degree angle and trying to get almost straight not locking out my knees with a heavy weight my stance is quite narrow with a little bit of open uh, open toe form so I try to keep the entire weight on my quads, less involvement of my hamstrings and my glutes, though they will kick in because the kind of equipment setup I have here, they will jump in to support me through this movement. But I try to keep a narrow stance with a little bit of toe open width to ensure I get a lot of quad activation. And whenever I felt my glutes were kicking in, I adjusted my stance a little bit to get more quad activation. I loaded heavy, I went as heavy as possible, I can move the weight, I think I went around maybe 150, 160 kilos. So it's not that I'm extremely strong, it's just that the equipment allows me to go through this range of motion at an extreme amount of weight efficiently. So use it, it's good if you have this particular equipment at your disposal. And now we move on to our calf exercises. So here I am doing seated calf press. I have done seated calf press in my previous videos also using a couple of dumbbells, placing them on my thighs. If you have a calf raise machine, seated calf raise machine, use that. If not, if you have a Smith machine, you can use a similar setup like I did. I just grabbed a set, uh, step up box, placed it under my feet, then took the Smith machine, put it on my thighs with a little bit of cushion used a bench as my seat and started doing the calf races here again three sets as many repetitions as possible again i loaded up to 50 to i think 70 kilos of weight onto the bar it was quite a good contractions i was able to achieve for my calf races i would have liked a little bit of more seat height but i think this was the best setup i could figure out so you can experiment with in terms of the height but otherwise this was good if you don't have a step up box you can always use weight plates under your feet that would be helpful if you don't have that you can also do it just plain on the ground try to push your calves as high as possible with weight on your thighs so three sets as many repetitions as possible i was getting around 12 15 repetitions by the last set i was struggling as you can see to push the weight along my calves were full of blood and that my objective was achieved so now let's move on to our next exercise for my next exercise i am going to work on my adductors now if you don't have this particular equipment you can use elastic bands elastic tubes to do this exercise it's simple you try to get your thighs together so i have done three sets 12 repetitions with maximum amount of pull possible so I have set up the machine with the maximum amount of stretch and pushed the weight together with my legs. The weight again, I took a challenging weight for me to get up to 10 to 12 repetitions. I slowed down the process of stretch as much as possible to feel my outer glutes working hard in terms of controlling the weight from just pushing my legs apart. And then during contractions also, I made it a slow motion so that I feel the contractions in my inner thigh. The setup when you use with a resistant tube, uh, resistant tubes or bands would need a little bit of time but do 
uh, exercise these muscles as they would be quite helpful in our leg growth and strength. And that's it. We are done with our exercises. Now let's move on to our static stretches. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. And if you have any kind of feedback, feel free to drop a comment. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I request you to subscribe. For my static stretches, I'm doing 20 seconds hold for my quads, both sides, two times. So for hamstrings, I have done mostly a stretch based exercise, but my quads were pretty loaded in that leg press machine. So static stretches for them. For my calves, I'm going to do ankle or the toe raises just lean against a wall at a slant angle and start doing toe raises you can load this exercise by placing a small weight on your toes while raising it this was good enough for me i did as many repetitions as possible again thank you for joining me if you did like the video please drop a like if you enjoyed the workout please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed but otherwise uh, I, I would definitely uh, see you in the next video, the next workout where we are going to work and train our arms again. So thank you and you have a good day.